I just got a cool new upgrade for the Tacoma, the spider mirrors. We're going to unbox, install, and test them out. Let's go ahead and see what you get. Get this nice little instruction sheet here. It tells you how to remove the mirror. I went ahead and purchased the left and the right. Here's the mirror itself. Now, the one I got does not have blind spot monitoring on purpose. I disabled the blind spot monitoring on my truck when I installed the rear bumper. It does have the heated elements, though. Let's go ahead and get these installed. Removing the mirror is super easy. You just push it up, and pry it off, just like that. Now we're just going to unplug it. And that one is removed. Now we can just take the new one. Plug it right in. Now I'm going to take a little piece of electrical tape and wrap up this blind spot monitoring cord and tuck it out of the way. Make sure you're plugged in all the way and then we will pop this into place. Make sure all four corners are seated. You can actually look behind it and kind of feel and see. Looks good. And now we have the spider mirror. All right, let's check out the field of view. So this is from the driver's seat. You can really see the back wheel and we're going to test it out with towing the trailer and I'll show you that in progress later. Here's the passenger side. Now I'm planning on using it mostly so I can see my trailer while I'm driving and monitor my blind spot. But you can also pivot this little mirror all the way down like so. And here's the view you can see if you're doing parallel parking or rock rolling. Let's go do a drive test and see how the trailer looks through the mirrors. So one super nice thing about the mirrors is that I can see the trailer while I'm driving out of the little mirror. I don't have to shift my head on both sides.
sides. Now the quality of this is pretty good. It doesn't have the trim ring around it like the factory one does, but you can't really tell. The glass seems nice and clear. We'll see how it holds up. Why might you want this? I mostly want it because I disabled my blind spot monitoring so I didn't need the blind spot symbol on the mirror. I also tow a lot so it's nice to be able to see the trailer. And it's nice in off-road situations and parallel parking so you can see the curb and you don't have to worry about curbing your rims. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys found that information useful. There'll be a discount code in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.